What's up guys, it's your boy Rich here. So in school, we always strive for an A on our report cards. So when is a C better than an A? Well, when we're talking about SEALS' newest model, the Model C. So let's go take a closer look at it. Let's go. And here is SEALS Model C. And I got this watch directly from Michael SEALS, the owner of SEALS Watches, who happened to be in town and we met up for drinks. And I have to say that Michael is a really pleasant and passionate guy, just a really great guy. So let's talk about his Model C, which is in 40.5 millimeters, 48 millimeters from lug to lug, 11.4 millimeters tall, and with a 22 millimeter lug width. And there were three areas of this watch that really caught my eye. The first is this unique hexagon case, this vintage looking dial, and these wire lugs. Yes, these wire lugs, because I just have a fondness for wire lugs, probably because they remind me of the earlier Panerai radio mirrors. And when I communicated that to Michael, in return, Michael acknowledged that when he went to work designing the Model C, he actually had the radio mirror in mind before the Model C took on its own form and its own unique design. So let's start off with this finishing because it is a good one. It's brushed and it has the polished accents. And on the front, it has this gorgeous mouth-watering brushed finishing and I've seen this online and on the website but you know let's face it a lot of times uh, more times than not the watches are photoshopped to look a lot nicer in pictures than they are in person but I am really happy to report that the brushed finishing on the front of this watch is exactly how we see them online and in fact I am photoshopped every time before a video so this is me before I before uh, I get photo photoshopped so <laughs> let's let's talk about this crown here this crown is not a normal looking crown which is you know, we usually see onion crowns or just the the normal round crown and that's because this matches the angular case here it's like like the nuts and bolts or specifically a nut so that's just a really nice touch the model c also has a really nice slightly domed sapphire crystal so let's return back to the dial because the S right below 12 o'clock is actually hand applied using three different parts to form the letter S. This model is in the granulated black because of the textures that it has throughout the black dial, but it is also available in German blue. The Model C is the newer version between the Model C and Model A. The Model A is intended to be a more of a sportier version with some differences such as integrated lugs versus these wired lugs. And while the case remains largely the same, there are some differences on the dial as well as the movement. And we'll talk more about the movement a little later on. Uh, the Model C is intended to be a field watch and pays homage to the earlier battle tanks of the 1940s. But to me, this is much more than a really tough watch. It is also really elegant with really quite extraordinary finishing and a lot of nice touches. So on the back, we're going to see right here where it says 20 ATM or water resistant to 200 meters. And instead of saying WR or water resistant, Michael wanted to be a little bit more creative. And you can see the images that he chose to represent water resistance, which is an image of a mountain and water beneath. So it's just a nice little touch there that just, you know, it's, it's also another nice touch as I touched on earlier with the uh, nut uh, shaped crown. Just a lot of nice details to this field watch that makes it to me really elegant. I think this is a nice time for some wrist shots. Mickey will keep you company and I'll be right back. <laughs> Even though the Model C is intended to be a field watch, and if we're a little worried about scratching or digging up this beautifully finished case, we do have an option of buying a pre-beat up case to create that really vintage look that was tumbled to create that vintage look. For me, my preference is this newer look because I'm really careful about my watches, but I can see the allure of having a vintage looking case. Let's return to the case back. And because it is a solid case back, what is the movement that is powering the Model C? Well, it is powered by the Swiss Automatic STP 111 with 44 hours of power reserve versus the Model A, which uses the Miyota 9015 automatic movement. And the retail price of the Model C is $640. And I think that is a really strong value for a really well-made and attractive watch. But there are a few goodies included in that package, including 
an extra canvas strap to the leather strap. And while this is a custom made leather strap, it does come with a leather strap and canvas strap. In addition, it comes with a waxed canvas and leather trim watch roll or a microfiber watch roll. So I think that makes a really attractive package on an attractive Model C timepiece. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you the next time. And the retail price of the Model C. Good job, Rich. <laughs> and the retail price of the model. And I got this watch directly from Michelle, F Michael, Michael, <laughs> sorry, Michael, Michael Seals. But it's also available in the Je German blue.